Before we plot lines, let's review what a line is. A line is a two-dimensional object in space. It's not a surface, but more like my pencil. We'll describe the orientation of a line with its trend, which is synonymous with bearing, and its plunge. So plunge is how much the line tilts from horizontal, while trend is the direction toward which it is plunging. This sounds similar to strike and dip, but it's very important to keep trend and plunge separate from strike and dip in your mind. A plane dips perpendicular to its strike, while a line trends in the direction it plunges. Strike is a horizontal line, a line with plunge zero, but trend is only a direction. You didn't know it, but when we plotted planes, you plotted two lines as parts of that plane. If I drew a quick and crude stir in it here. When I plotted strike, I plotted a point somewhere on the primitive circle. Well, this right here is a line with a plunge of zero. So it has a plunge of zero with a trend in the same direction as a strike. When I plotted dip, I counted in from the dip direction some angle to plot the dip amount. So dip and dip direction is also plotting a line while making a plane. The plane is a great circle that contains both of those lines. This should make sense. Two points make a line, and also two lines make a plane. We'll take advantage of that relationship later. Right-hand rule doesn't exist for lines. They plunge in the same direction as they trend. However, there are a couple of useful conventions for writing down the attitude of a line. The first one is quadrant notation. I'll write down the plunge, and then the trend direction uh, in quadrant notation. The other convention is azimuth notation. Here we'll write down the plunge, and instead of writing down the quadrant of the the quadrant notation for the direction of the trend, we'll write down the azimuth. Notice that I don't write down 40 northeast, comma north 50 east, since the since a line trends in the same direction that it plunges. Uh, I already know that the plunge direction is to the northeast because that's the same as the trend direction. Now, also notice that for a plane, I wrote down the attitude of a plane like this. Notice how I have three digits, comma, two digits for a plane, whereas here I have two digits, comma, three digits for a line. This is just a way for me to record and read these attitudes and understand quickly if I'm reading information about a plane or a line. If I'm looking at a plunge and a trend or a strike and a dip.